Today I want to talk about why I stopped lucid dreaming. Now don't worry, this isn't quite what you think, I didn't quit lucid dreaming, but I did take a break recently, and today I'm going to explain why. Hey guys, welcome back to Tiffro, it's me Matt here, and today I've got a little something to share with you guys, and that is that I actually recently stopped lucid dreaming. Now I didn't stop, you know, uh, forever, I'm not stopping forever, I just took a little break and I'm actually going to uh, come off that break in a moment and I'm actually going to start lucid dreaming again. But I took a break from lucid dreaming and I want to talk about why that is. So there are a few reasons for that. The first reason is, quite simply, lucid dreaming isn't my number one priority. I have other things I need to do in my life and sometimes lucid dreaming can distract from those things. Sometimes if I'm so focused on what I'm going to do at night, then I'm not as focused on what I want to do during the day. Sometimes when I go to bed after a long day of work, I'm just too tired to try any techniques and so on, and so lucid dreaming is impractical. So recently, you know, I've been working on my course, I've been working on myself in real life, trying to, you know, improve in certain areas and so on, and I just had a lot going on, and so I felt like it's not a good time to be lucid dreaming for me. So keep this in mind, sometimes there are times in your life where it's probably not the best idea to be focusing so much on lucid dreaming. That doesn't mean you can't have lucid dreams, but it probably shouldn't be your number one focus if, say, it's exam week and you're really stressed and stuff like that. Reason number two, I've recently been fixing my sleep a lot more than usual. Some of you guys may know I struggle with insomnia and my sleep pattern deteriorates over time. About an hour a week, it gets later and later. Um, and recently it's been getting worse than that. Recently I was having to like fix my sleep pattern like once a week or so. And that was really ridiculous. And I just felt like if I was waking up in REM, before my favorite techniques because I prefer to do wild and mild which both require you to wake up in REM. Uh, if I was doing that, that would be interrupting my sleep. There's a chance that I end up with insomnia and can't fall back asleep and then my sleep pattern gets even later and then I have to reset it even more often and I just didn't want to deal with that right now. I wanted to wait until my sleep pattern has been sorted for at least a few weeks before I get back into anything that involves me waking up in the night. The third and final reason and perhaps the most important, the one that a lot of you guys will not realize is a possible reason for stopping lucid dreaming and that is actually to have more lucid dreams. This might sound a bit silly, why would you stop lucid dreaming if you want to have more lucid dreams? Well the thing is, when you've actually been doing lucid dreaming techniques for years and years and years and say you've been doing you know, them regularly for the last six months or something like that, what happens? It's the same as if you were say driving a car or doing something on your computer that you do every day. It starts to become a habit that you just do on autopilot. And that is not a good thing with lucid dreaming techniques, especially things like, say, reality checks. You know, if you start doing reality checks on autopilot, you're just doing this, you're not even looking at your hand, you don't notice that your finger has gone right through it and that you're actually in a dream. So, you know, you can't do these things on autopilot. Same goes for other techniques. You can't do wild on autopilot or mild on autopilot, really, if you want the best results. And um, just actually having that kind of focus on the thing that you're doing is actually going to give you more results. If you just repeat the mantra for mild, just kind of half assed not really thinking about it, it's not going to be as effective as if you're really focused on the fact that you're going to have a lucid dream. So sometimes a bit of a break is actually helpful because it puts you back in that kind of beginner state of mind. And when you're a beginner at something, you kind of don't do anything on autopilot, you have to take everything slow and seriously. And with lucid dreaming, this is very, very powerful because you're taking everything so slow and so seriously, you're thinking so much about lucid dreaming about each step of the process that every technique can be more effective when you're doing it correctly. You know, you obviously have to learn how to do the techniques correctly, but that beginner state of mind is actually the best state of mind to be in for lucid dreaming. And so every so often, I will just take a break where I completely forget about lucid dreaming. I don't do any techniques, I don't do reality checks. Um, you know, I don't do mild or wild or anything else like that. I don't even read up about lucid dreaming much or think about it much, you know, except when I'm making videos for you guys, obviously. I always have to think about it sometimes, but you know, I don't focus on it at all. And when I do that, when I come back to lucid dreaming afterwards, I normally end up having like the most lucid dreams that I've had in a long, long time in the next like couple of weeks. So it really is actually helpful sometimes to take a bit of a break, especially if you've been doing it a long time. Now, if you've only been lucid dreaming for a month or something, then a break probably isn't gonna help you. You probably need more practice. But if you're, say, someone who's been lucid dreaming for a few years now, and for some reason it's just getting stale, like you're not lucid dreaming as much as you used to, then consider taking, say, a two-week break from lucid dreaming and see how that helps you. 
So right now I'm actually planning to slowly get back into lucid dreaming. I'm gonna ease into it with things like meditation, with things like reality checks. So the third and final thing that I'm thinking of doing is I'm actually thinking of using Dreamleaf as well to actually help me with lucid dreaming. Um, I was using it before and so I've still got some left that I actually haven't finished using. But what I'm gonna do this time is rather than you know taking the blue pill, sleeping for four or five hours or whatever and then waking up and taking the red pill, I'm gonna try and take them on separate nights initially because I don't wanna do the whole waking up in the middle of the night thing. And I still found it effective when I took you know, one on separate nights, when I took blue pill one night, red pill one night. So I'm gonna try it like that and see if that helps me because I noticed with Dreamleaf that I was actually able to lose a dream even when not doing techniques. And so it might be a nice way to ease back into it, combined with meditation, combined with reality checks, and combined with the fact that I've just taken a break, I'm very, very excited to see how many lucid dreams I have when I start getting back into it. Anyway, that's been all for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and if you have, be sure to subscribe down there and check out my Patreon page. Now, if you want to keep watching, I've got two videos on screen. I've got one up here, and I've got one up here. Pick your favourite, go watch that now, and I'll see you soon. Take care.